talk to us about the, the most dramatic twist and turns in this fall. I think the most dramatic part is that how a very well-known hedge fund in crypto just failed all of a sudden. I think this is such a surprise to so many, um, unlike a lot of our previous failures in crypto that people inside crypto in general were aware of. So did the collapse of Three Arrows really or cause or lead to potentially the crypto broader crypto contagion? Uh, what are we seeing so far? There's a definitely contention in crypto market right now. We've seen um, some of their biggest counterparties. For example, uh, the Canada-based Voyager Digital, they announced bankrupt as a result of their exposure to Sue Arrows, who borrowed a tons of money from uh, Voyager and was not able to fill, fulfill the, the, the obligations. Talk to us about the role of transparency here. I mean, were they really only betting that crypto was going to go up? What hedge fund does that? That's, that's, I think, the one of the most thing I, I personally find very surprising uh, throughout the reporting part of this story is just that these two people were formal Forex traders. They're supposed to be very intelligent, sophisticated traders in crypto, but it turned out um, literally every single person I talked to told me they're the biggest bulls in crypto and they believe this kind of theory of super cycle that crypto would never fall like other markets and they put on big bets on every single project they invested in. So how does the crypto market move on from this? Obviously it's not just three arrows, you know, we've seen the collapse of, of Terra um, and it's really scared off a lot of investors. Yeah, um, I think, as you said, this is the transparency issues and there's a trust crisis in crypto right now. So I think moving forward, um, I think this market, this space really needs to be more transparent. For example, all these big lenders, they need to you know, communicate with each other, talking about who's borrowing money to whom to make sure now their counterparties are going too big to, uh, to a certain extent that can have more impact across the market.